There are a lot of diets out there, a lot of people talking about this, that, and other thing, what you can do and what you can't do. But today we're going to talk about what we eat on our low carb, actually carnivore light diet. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today we're going to talk about what we eat. Uh, it's not a weekly meal plan. It's not what we eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because it's usually one meal a day and maybe a few bites within a short uh, period, maybe six, six or eight hour window a day. I sometimes just do one meal a day. But uh, in a little history here, we were you know super low carb 10 years ago and then we dabbled and messed up and gluten-free screwed us up and we learned over time what to do and what not to do. But our new rule, it's not about what can we eat and what, we, what can't we eat, it really literally is don't raise your blood sugar. And when you ha start with that mindset and you start looking at the types of foods, you start to say to yourself, well, that vegetable I thought was fine or that piece of fruit I thought was fine starts you know, taking a different definition because you know, the most of the people in this country, when they say, oh, I'm going to eat healthy, I'm going to have fruits and vegetables. What they're doing is eating um, fructose. And we did a little story about it recently about fructose. And it's just not good for your body. And fructose, in fact, uh, they did some studies on ancient uh, cavemen. I don't know how they can do this, by the way. That This is what they said. But a million years ago, that the cavemen had some sort of... they morphed and in order to survive over like six month periods of time they would eat a ton of fruit and fatten up during the lean season when they couldn't get much food and they somehow made it I don't know how I guess they just drank water for six months and then when the things started growing again they were able to eat but you know 95 percent of the people out there think having a salad is healthy or eating a bowl of fruit is healthier eating an apple is healthy to us, we, we don't believe that anymore, even though it's a natural food and it's definitely a better uh, two bads and one is better than the other is not really good. It's just the least worst. But having an apple is probably better than eating some crackers or potato chips. However, I don't, I don't even know if that's true anymore because you know the sugar, raising your blood sugar level is just not good. And you know basically, once you have the mindset that you know, you're not going to raise your blood sugar, then you sort of get kind of funneled into going to almost carnivore type diet. Um, I'm making sure my mic is on. Um, and you know, the hardcore carnivore people out there just eat practically raw meat, salt, and water, which is probably one of the most ideal diets you can have because there's zero room for mess up there. And while that can be considered boring, um, some people just don't want to do that. It, I may go there one of these days, but we're carnivore light. So we also include other tasty things such as bacon, eggs, and other dairy products like cheese and cream. Um, I basically just gave away my whole um, diet here. But, you know, carnivore light people, you know, sometimes may dabble into an avocado every now and then, which is a high fat fruit. Um, and some, some other things. But you'll realize that after you keep experimenting that dabbling off the carnivore like regimen, it always leads to some sort of discomfort or pain. So here's, our, here's what we eat every week, every month. And the main thing I eat is ground beef. Why? Because it's versatile, it's inexpensive, it's available everywhere. We don't care about grass-fed. And I'm sure some people say, uh, it, there's some sort of difference. I don't think there is yet, but I'll buy some higher quality meats sometimes and I, there's butchers I go to that get really high quality meats for not too much money. Six bucks a pound is usually the most I like to pay for ground beef and I'll go down as low as two bucks a pound when you go to Aldi. You can get a five pound log of meat and I think it's pretty damn good as long as you cook it medium uh, rare at the, at the most. Uh, I like to cook it a little bit higher because I'm not quite sure about the low end meats. I, I like to give it a little bit of a protection in there. But if you, the minute you cook it medium well or worse, it, it loses all its flavor and all the fat drains out. It's no, it's no good. But when you cook it medium rare, the burgers come out very good, even if they're low priced 
meat. And we'll do a steak every now and then. One of my current uh, favorite cuts is the Delmonico cut. I'll go down to the Amish market and you sear it, you know, three minutes on each side, stick the pan in the oven about 450 for about five minutes or so, and then let it tent it and let it rest for 10 minutes and it's delicious. It, it's not filet mignon, but it's certainly like 12 bucks a pound. You get a nice big 16, 18 ounce steak for about $13. It's nice to mix up the, the steak and I eat every bit of it, every, every fatty uh, edge and so on. But we also like bacon and sausage because uh, it's really affordable and, and I don't really want to spend a lot of money on food. I'm not going to pay $50 for like Japanese uh, Kobe filet mignon. I, I just don't want to do it. it. I don't sit there and make love to my fork. I just want to eat and move along. But bacon and sausage, I try to get cheap ones. Sometimes I'll spring for um, a higher end cut. But you know, if you watch this vlog or read njroot22.com at all, you'll see that I talk about bacon a lot. And it really, it, it almost doesn't matter. And then nitrates and all that, we don't care. I, I sometimes go to Walmart and I try to find the Walmart brand, brand sausage when it's like two days before expiration. Because how can sausage expire? It's filled with all sorts of additives. But I buy the sausage, it's like a buck twenty-five for a pound of sausage. And I'll, it, it's exactly the same. I, I can't even taste the difference. Um, and eggs, eggs are probably one of the most perfect foods. Uh, if you can find a local farmer that, that uh, sells their eggs that, you know, they're a lot fresher. The egg yolks are so ridiculously yellow. You, you could buy the most expensive organic eggs at a supermarket and sometimes the eggs are so pale, which means from what I understand that they have been laid a, a long time ago, usually a month or longer ago. I, I get eggs sometimes that were laid that morning and the quality of the yolks and the taste is phenomenal. So see if you can get uh, local eggs and very soon after they were laid. Um, but there, and I also take the whites out a lot of times when I make an omelet, I'll take four, uh, say I make a five egg omelet, I'll remove two of the uh, egg whites and just have five egg yolks and three egg whites. And it's, I like that better. And that's, your mileage may vary. But also, and we do cream and cheese. I don't drink any milk, like skim milk, 1%, 2% whole milk. I try to stay away from that. The worst I'll do is either a half and half or a light cream if I can't find inexpensive heavy cream. I buy the shitty heavy cream at either Aldi or Walmart. I think they're made by the same company. It's uh, usually about $3.40 a quart. And you go anywhere else, it's $6 and higher. Organic is often $10 or more a quart. I, I really don't know the difference. They say carrageenan is all that bad. I've heard conflicting reports. Until it makes me grow a third arm, I'm not going to worry about it. And we, we do things like ricotta cheese too. Uh, I'll make a ricotta cheese bake, which is extremely filling. You throw an egg in there, some mozzarella, and you put some spices, not too many. And you can throw some meat in, even a pepperoni thing. You can make like a calzone without the dough, which is fun. Uh, and that's it. That's all I really eat. I rarely, I don't even dabble into the nuts too much anymore. Sometimes we'll have as a snack if I'm really, I don't know, I, I get bored or something happens to me. But I'll toast some sliced almonds. You mix it with coconut oil and throw some sea salt in there. Bake it until they turn semi-brown. So you can make them darker if you like that. Um, the people in my house don't like the smell that comes from the, the burning almonds. But those are some snacks. But I try not to go too hardcore on it. Nuts are really not supposed to be eaten. So that's it. And then the lastly, some people say, hey, don't you get bored? And that's, people get bored easily on the old standard American diet because A, they're constantly in the state of hunger because their blood sugar is going up and down. And that's why they feel the need to eat. It's just a, it's just a thing. It's a real thing. Um, when you do carnivore, the, the aspect or the whole concept of, of boredom is, is a non-factor. And it took me like many years of my life to say, oh, I just don't want to be hungry anymore. And you're not hungry when you do carnivore and low carb. If you do get hungry, it's a very slow, even ramp up to hunger. It's not like, oh, I'm starving. I need to open the refrigerator in the cabinet and look for something to eat now, now, now. It's not like that. Um, there's just no boredom. You, your life is no longer focused or centered around eating. There's no hunger, pangs, no cravings, none of that stuff, none of it. Um, except when you screw up. I'll tell you, like sometimes if you eat something sweet by mistake, uh, eat some sugar, you'll notice that your whole body changes and you're like, you're hungry for a day or two or three. Excuse me. And like I said, we, we eat 
usually one major meal a day. I don't, I rarely eat breakfast. It's usually afternoon when we start eating, sometimes two or three or four or five, I'll have my first meal of the night and that's, that works out pretty good. Sometimes I'll keep my eating window only open for three hours. And so, you know, the alcohol, like we just uh, discussed a few days ago about the uh, crook and marker and stuff that I, I, I have a little of a review. I'm doing a long-term test on my own body about how alcohol affects weight and I'm still trying to figure it out but uh, we'll talk about that later. We spend probably a total of 15 minutes in the state of eating a day, if that, maybe less. Um, and it, it's, it's nice to not have that, uh, that obsession with eating. You just, you're doing other things and, and I think I'd rather have that worry gone from my life. I just eat my little burger and it's done and then you move move on. So that's it. That's what we eat on a low carb keto carnivore diet here at njroot22.com and if you like what we've rambled about, hit please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you next video.